Look, I'm probably gonna get blasted for saying this, but I'm a new channel, so f it. I'll take the risk. Metal Gear Solid, Delta, Snake, whatever the f is probably going to let a good amount of us down. Let's just be honest here. Now the new trailer looks sweet. I mean, it's beautiful, it looks really cool. But here's here's some stuff I picked up on. The atmosphere is completely gone. I mean, this is a game that has just been given the Unreal treatment and that's fine. I mean, it's beautiful, it looks really good, but it doesn't look like Metal Gear Solid 3. It doesn't have that grading. It doesn't have that orange tint. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the stuff that made the atmosphere feel unique, isolating, otherworldly. And we all know that a big part of how Metal Gear Solid communicates itself to us is through its atmosphere. And right now it's just stripped, it's gone. And all we're left with essentially is just eye candy from their fucking pachinko machines. I mean, Konami does not hide the fact that they just want our money. Let's be honest. I mean, just look at the latest release that we had for Metal Gear, the Master Collection. Look how they handled that. If you look on Steam, you'll see mixed reviews and that's because the games themselves are great. The games are great. But the way they were put onto modern consoles and PC, that wasn't so great. I mean, if you look in there, you'll see old dates. They, you know, everything's exactly the same. And maybe, you know, for you, that's really good. But it didn't get that treatment, that polish, that new coat of paint a lot of fans were hoping for, you know, when you're bringing all these games up to date with stuff as simply as resolution options to, you know, work on modern 4K devices. And the input lag, which I know is very noticeable for Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, apparently, if you get the GOG edition, that's not there and a much better way to experience the game. Also, while I was looking at the gameplay reveal, you know, originally I was super stoked and excited, but while I was looking at it, I noticed things just looked a little off and a little stuttery. Now, I know it's still early on, but I don't know, is this going to be like an Assassin's Creed Unity kind of game to where it looks beautiful, but it only works half the time and people's eyeballs are popping out? Who knows? We don't know yet. It's still too early to tell. And Snake, he's looking kind of like Scott Eastwood, which isn't bad. I mean, uh, Hideo Kojima kind of wore it on his sleeve that Clint Eastwood played a big influence to Snake. And so did, you know, Snake Plissken from Escape from New York. But it doesn't look like the Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3, at least to me. Maybe it does to you but he just looks a little weird to me. And that's because the art style is gone. Like I said earlier, we're getting this really beautiful coat of paint over Metal Gear Solid 3, but in doing so, you're removing the art style. The original Metal Gear Solid 3 had to work within the limitations of the devices it was going to be put on. And in doing so, they created a pretty unique uh, art style. You know, everything's kind of boxy and you know, just how it all came together. It really created a really interesting and cool environment uh, that to, in my opinion still stands up today. I don't think we need a new coat of paint. I don't think we need this big sexy remaster. I think they should have probably just handled the master collection much better than they did. And you know, I just, I just don't trust Konami. Um, I'm gonna say it. I just don't trust them to handle something as precious to me as Metal Gear Solid. I mean, this is my favorite video game series of all time. Metal Gear Solid 3 is my favorite game of all time. And I just, I don't trust Konami to handle this. And you know, with them giving this new polish, this new coat of paint and stripping the atmosphere, stripping the original art style, something I'm also worried about is, uh, and you know, they may be too lazy to add this, which is a good thing, but if, if they're not, they might add new gameplay elements. And I'm a little worried that we're going to have kind of like in Twin Snakes to where you get the, uh, what was it, the M9 Trink gun and you're running around and the game the original Metal Gear Solid 1 wasn't designed for it, and so you're able to go around, trank all the enemies, and it just made the game a breeze. So I'm worried that, you know, whatever new gameplay elements they add could potentially mess with the flow and the experience of the original Metal Gear Solid 3. Maybe it will be for the better, maybe it won't. Only time will tell, but I just don't trust Konami to deliver. Now it could rock. The trailer does look freaking sweet, but I'm just saying, stay skeptical. Remember, this is Konami. I mean, I'm going to be playing this for sure as soon as it's out. And, you know, I, I really do hope, guys, I really do hope Konami does right by us, um, us fans. And I really do hope that this is the Metal Gear Solid 3 of our dreams. You know, I really hope so. But I just I just don't see it happening. And I think no matter what happens, I, I can say almost with 99% certainty that on release, no matter what, a good amount of fans are going to be disappointed. Okay? But while we wait, we're going to just have to play the Master Collection. Hopefully they update it and give it some fixes and uh, get rid of that input lag and kind of just get it up to speed a little bit. Hell, I've used mods to get my MGS fix in New Vegas, which turned out to actually be pretty sweet. So if you want to see how I did that, check out this video. 
For more coverage of Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater and other shenanigans, please like and subscribe, all that jazz, and thanks for watching. Calm down, Andy. Take your pills. Oh, how rude of me. I completely forgot. This is Joe. He's my telepathic cat. Behold, I am telepathically communicating with you. Now, let's read your memory card. This is YouTube, Joe. Oh, right. Back to sleep then.